Do fuel or oil bypass filters make sense on this engine? The fuel system is actually pretty good. That fuel filter is the same one used in the 6.6 Duramax. Um, I run just a straight OEM setup. I like the fact that the oil filter or the fuel filter is about 20 bucks. It takes me roughly 10, 15 minutes to change that fuel filter. I get to see inside that, that bowl to see if there's any metal, anything crazy inside there. I get to look at the filter itself and see if there's discoloration, anything going on. There's a lot of uh, good information just off of that. So I believe that the factory system is actually really good. Now there are systems out there that increase to a larger uh, fuel filter. The issue with that is now your water and fuel sensor does not read properly inside that filter. You're also having an issue where the filter actually hangs down below the frame rail, which could get ripped off, hit, or snagged. There is a two filter system on there, which I did test at one point in time, and I think it's a, a very nice system. The option to run just a fuel filter dedicated to water is awesome, as well as a finer media for the fuel system itself. Running a dual filter does have its pros, but you don't get to see inside there unless you cut those open. Uh, those filters also typically hang down below the frame rail a little bit, so there's a little bit of trade-offs. Like I said, I like the factory system just because convenience, I can see everything. And honestly, $20, $25 filter, it's a, it's a pretty good value.